Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for November 25th, 2013. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers on the set and off. It was an incredible week for developers here at Google, so let's get right to it, and we'll start with Glass. Timothy Jordan, never seen without his trademark hat, gave us a sneak peek of the brand new Glass development kit. The GDK lets us glimpse the future of cool apps on Glass. Also last week, we hosted the Chrome Dev Summit, an incredible two-day web platform experience. This event featured an overwhelming 12-plus hours of presentations on Dart, Blink, PageSpeed, Pinnacle, and more. If you missed anything, we have it archived for you. And if that wasn't enough, Colt McCandless teamed up with the Times Open team from New York Times to talk about tuning websites and mobile apps for performance. You have a need for speed, and so do your users. And we've all seen the headlines about large-scale password leaks. Breno De Maderos and Tim Bray, who are not excited about this trend, talk about best practices and raw survival on how to keep your accounts and information safe. And Drive and Gmail are getting closer together. Steve Basil highlights the new integration of Gmail attachments in Drive and what this means for developers in your Drive apps. But Drive isn't the only Google app getting new features. Jonathan Simon walks us through how you can set up and use a Google Cloud SQL instance. This event covers creating a database and connecting to it, setting up PHP pages, and much more. If your app is up in the clouds, make sure you watch this video. We then welcome back YouTuber Ikai Lan from New York as he tells us where to go for all the latest information on our Java API client libraries. Whether you use Maven or Gradle, Ikai has your answers. And we're celebrating the half birthday of Google Play Games, but you're getting the gift. Todd Kerpelman is giving everybody updated SDKs. So watch this event for all the fun. And every year at this time, the days get very short or very long, depending on where you live. And Google Code-In gets going. Pre-university students can sign up for Google Code-In and work on real-world open source software projects, learn a lot, and even win prizes, including a trip to the Googleplex. Check out the program site to find out more. Also, the Google Civic Information API got an important upgrade for US users this week. Now, you can write apps that connect users to their local elected government, all the way down to municipal officials. And our newest Chrome experiment, A Journey Through Middle Earth, launched this week. It's an interactive experience for Hobbit fans, and for mobile web developers, it's a great demonstration of what's possible on mobile devices using HTML5 and technologies like the Touch Events API, Web Audio API, and Media Queries. And Speedy, SPDY, is our experimental protocol for making the web faster, and it's doing a great job. This week, we published results showing that Speedy has dramatically reduced latency in Google's major web applications, and the Speedy work continues. And to make sure you never miss a thing, Speedy or slow, from the world of Google developers, subscribe to the Google Developers on YouTube, and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.